hello angels and welcome to another diy so in this video we are going to be making some bandana swimsuit i got this bandana set from amazon i think it was six dollars or twelve and i also got the elastic from amazon as well clear elastic because i wanted the straps to be cleared in the bottom you're gonna see what i mean in a minute so oh what else you gonna need you're gonna need some scissors and some foam paper that's it i'm gonna show you guys i'm not like so this is the thing i thought that the camera was recording but turned out it wasn't like yes it was recording the video is still on my camera but for some reason it won't go on my computer so i can download it so i'm gonna try my best to explain how to make the bottom but the first thing you're gonna do is get a swimsuit top that you guys like I actually use a pen to trace out the shape of it and then the next step would be to just cut it out cut out the shape you can do it however you guys want to do it but this is the easiest way for me plus you don't see the pen mark when you finish cutting it out so yeah so after I finish tracing out the the triangle because all you guys are making is a triangle then I'm just gonna do it again on top of this bandana so that I have two. Obviously you need two, but that is what I'm doing right here. After I finish tracing it out, I'm just gonna cut it out and you guys can see how it looks. I'm gonna do this from the top and for the bottom. So this is how the two triangle look. It looks kind of big, but it does fit perfectly. So the next step is to actually do the bottoms. So with the bottoms, I got the I made this yellow swimsuit that I'm gonna show you guys real soon. But I'm doing the exact same thing, just placing it on top of the bandana and then just tracing it and then cut it. So I decided to fill the bandana on the back because it's kind of lighter, so that when I cut it out, you don't see the black pen mark or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing right here, just cutting it out. Cut it, cut it, cut it. So I end up using a different swimsuit bottom, but this is how it looks when I finish tracing it out. So that's the top and that's the bottom. It looks good right there. So this is how the top and the bottom looks. It looks good. Not disappointed. So the next step is to actually... I actually don't like the size of the top, so I decided to use a smaller swimsuit top swimsuit top that I have. Then I'm just going to cut out that shape right there, that swimsuit shape. It's going to be a little smaller on me, but it's a hot girl summer. Who really cares? <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to cut it out, cut out the top, just like what I was doing before. And yeah. You guys want to see how it looks so i got this other fabric right here so all i'm gonna do is um trace because i want to add an extra fabric on the back of the bandana because looking at it it's really thin so you can see everything through it so that's why i wanted to add another fabric so all i'm gonna do is just trace out the triangle because all you're doing is a triangle just trace it out cut it out and then just sew it on so this is how this fabric looks so next i'm just gonna place the bandana on top just to make sure that it matches it fits well so that when i sew it on together there's no extra fabric or anything like that just to make sure that's how it looks in the back if i had black or white then it wouldn't be showing but it's still okay you can use whatever you want to use so the next step will be to do the exact same thing to the bottom so you're just going to trace out the bottom the swimsuit bottom on top of it on top of the fabric so that it won't be thin yeah just trace it out and cut it out what i've been doing the whole video this is pretty easy nothing too complicated so far so this is where I start messing up. I should have fold over all the edges and then sewed it, sew it on. But I just start sewing everything together. I don't know why I didn't redo it, but it still looks okay. 
Do you see how it looks? If I had folded over then sew it, it would have looked so much better. So now I left a little space at the bottom so I so that I can actually push the the white the clear elastic all the way through so that it could you know how a swimsuit is supposed to be. So that's what I did. I know you guys can't see because clearly it's clear. <laughs> But I pushed it all the way through, so I'm just going to do the same thing for the other side. Yep. And I, I actually sewed the elastic and the fabric together so that you couldn't adjust it or anything like that. I don't know why I did it, but yeah. So the final step, I'm going to be doing the same thing to the bottom. I just fold over a little bit of fabric. I actually did not use this bottom i did something else but if you want to make this bottom you just sew the edges together sew the sides together push the elastic through the waist right there that i'm sewing on that's the waist you just push the elastic elastic through and you're good just do the same thing for the top and the bottom so yeah quick and easy just like that so it looks this is how the top looks this is it so i sewed up the top the top part right here sewed it on right here and just like that so this is what i was talking about i should have fold over the fabric under then just sew it on because now you can see all this thread that's coming out but nothing i can do about that this is how I love how the bottom turned out. So this is what I did different. These foam papers, the same, the exact same one that I used for my carnival wire bra. All I did was just place it down, trace the bikini, trace the swimsuit bottom, cut it out, put it underneath the um the bandana, then just sewed everything together so that it fits good. So this is how it looks. I actually put another bandana right over here so that you could cover up the foam fabric. Yep. And I add these things right here. I don't know what it's called. And then, then I just tied on the elastic at the sides. This one has this cute little bow right here. If you guys want to see how it looks on me, then just go over to my Instagram. You guys can see how it looks. But this... This is how it looks right now. Looks pretty good. The bottom fits amazing. I wish I had discovered this before and then just add some of this onto the top so that it would feel better because it just feels very thin. Just like what you're looking at, it, it feels thin and it looks thin. Plus the sides are just a mess. But it looks good now. This is how it looks. I actually didn't sew it on this top bandana. I glued it on because I broke my sewing machine while trying to sew everything together. Oh, I almost forgot the most important step. I actually used two bandanas for the front. Just fold it over. I used two for the front, that's why it's so thick. And two for the back. And then an extra bandana I just used for right here. So yeah, foam papers look good. And another thing, this is not something you can wear in the pool. Maybe you can if you're fancy. But this is just, I made this just so that I can sit by the pool, look cute, and take pictures. That's it. I have no plans of taking this into the water. But if you want, you definitely can do that. But yeah, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys like this DIY. I'm not gonna try it on because I don't wanna get this video demonetized, but hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.